are heading down to Alpharetta, just north of Atlanta. And we're meeting up with uh, all the business partners in our in our sports nutrition company. We're going to the production facility, the old one, the new one that we're moving into, and, uh, and then we're gonna do taste testing for some of the new products that are coming out. I think we're hitting like Top Golf tonight or something, and then Right now, we're going directly to Training Think Tank to meet up with Marcin and Heber from the Buttery Bros and training with uh, Noah and Travis a little bit. It's gonna be a fun day. What a disappointment. As the GPS pointed out, I thought we were arriving at one and it's telling us we're arriving at two. And I remember time zones. Georgia is on East Coast time and we are central here in Tennessee. Damn it. What's up, buddy? How we doing? Maddie Praise, Maddie Praise, Maddie Praise. What was the workout you guys just did? Karen, followed by 25 burpee bars, burpee mop, uh, Come on. Burpee, burpee bar. Yeah, no, not even no bar, rain. just burpee muscles. Who, who went on broken on Karen? Myself, Jake, and Kyle. Oh, all three of you? Yeah. Oh, we had to do it, man. Had to. You don't have to do any of that Why? stuff anymore. Dude, I think even when I was like at my fittest, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. Don't lie to me. That has that would like it didn't really carry over into the muscle ups at all. So you could kind of oh. let your legs fill up and. I've, I've heard the story of like Travis going unbroken. Heavy carry. On heavy carry. Yeah. And I was like, okay, let me give it a go. Have you tried it? Of course I've tried it. How many? Of course I've tried it. Okay, so we're, we're starting a new company with Matt and some friends from Texas called Podium. Um, Marjan and I have been working with these guys since like September, kind of figuring out the name, the look, the feel of it all, setting up an approach to how do we release this stuff. So for the first time, all five of us are getting together. We're going up to a little facility up the road here to taste test some protein and BCAAs and pre-workouts and make sure we've got the most delectable, delicious, nutritious supplements on the planet. We landed and went right into that workout. Like, give me a dude, bar or something, bro. Dude, we were like three minutes into our drive, and I was like, there's a time zone change. Awesome. <laughs> I went, looks like he's not traveling with Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I missed out on that first, first workout they did. Yeah, now I think they're just doing the fun stuff. Obviously a cutoff too. Let's go get big, Bo. Uh, whenever I hear pump session, I think bench press, of course. Maybe some curls. Uh, maybe those like bent over uh, row things. Yeah, some fun. donkey kickbacks. <laughs> yeah. I just recently did some of those with Kai Green. Never done them before. Super hard. It's not, I, it's not, uh, it doesn't really come natural to mow Mars, you know? So Tabata strict pull, Tabata dumbbell curl, and then 15 heavy dumbbell bench press into 30 really light dumbbell gotcha, press. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Right, some, some of these just start the clock. Otherwise, we're all just gonna be waiting. No, you wanna tear the band-aid off to start the yeah, clock? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. on the bench. Come on. Don't look big yet. Ah! I feel like I'm just floating away now. Still got it. I think 
We maybe should have left for our meeting 10 minutes ago. Now we're going over to the production facility with Marcin Heber. Uh, check out where, where all the podium is going to get like made. We are here. We are here. Yeah. <laughs> You're not official until you have these big giant plans yeah, yeah. here. So we're standing here in the break room right now. So big giant window here, kind of looking off to a decorative wall. Got uh, the reception over on that side. Um, and so you got about 13,000 square feet of office and lab on this side. You have production here with a 7,000 square foot mezzanine over the top. And then you got basically all storage in this area. Just here. like where? Quarantine here, so all incoming raw materials come in this way, get stored on this side, and enter the facility here. So you kind of have this U shaped motion here wow. for incoming all the way out. Yeah. It's about 160,000 square feet. Should be live sometime like first week in July, shooting for like July 8th. So pretty exciting. It's obviously a massive building. Uh, the lines will come out here. We have seven, six, seven lines. Uh, mezzanine were all dropped down. The powders were all dropped down in the fill zone there. All 35% uh, humidity. Uh, it's just going to be like state of the art like facility, especially for sports nutrition. We believe in doing it the, the right way and building it authentically with people that are actually in this space that know and love the community uh, and that have been, you know, staples of the community. You know, over the last you know seven seven plus years, so we're super excited. You know, podium, look out for it coming July. The CrossFit Games, it's gonna be sick. Are there protocols for like cleaning out the vats or? Yeah, so depends on what we're cleaning. So all of our mobile vessels behind you, you're gonna see um, a, a large room. We're gonna clean on the left side, dry on the right side. That's anything that we can push in and out. So we use IBCs, and they're basically these large 2,000. They go up to 2,000 liters. We can pick that up and actually spin it in place, pull it off, go clean it, and put another one right on. So we don't have to wait to clean the blending vessel before we put another one on, so we can keep blending. Gotcha. Okay. For the fixed blenders that are going to be over here in these blend rooms, so something like a rotary blender, we're going to have clean in place systems. So hot water and detergents can actually clean from the room and drain right out of the bottom. Awesome. There's very strict rules and regs for the FDA for a CGMP facility, okay? So when when you're in a CGMP facility, you can't cross contaminate. Yeah. That's, that's a big part of this business. And so how, how are you separating raw materials when they first come in? They have to be quarantined, so we have to test them before they even go into inventory. Gotcha. Once they're in inventory, now they're approved to be able to use in a formula. But then you have batch records that are very specific of which ingredients are gonna go into the formula, you know, at what dose. Yeah. So that then goes to the point team. So all that's been checked off. Like now you have two checkpoints from quality control. And so now that's in the blend team. And then when they blend, there's a whole nother cleaning process to make sure that there's no cross contamination yeah. from one blend to the next blend or one production line or packaging line to the next packaging line. I so, want to have the confidence in the supplements that it's like, yeah. if I'm taking this, I know it's not cross contamination. You hear the story of someone getting popped and like, I don't know what could have done it, like it must be one of my supplements, and then they do some digging, and it was part yeah. of those supplements. Uh, yeah. We take that real serious. I mean, that's a big part of our brand, too, you know? I mean, yeah. if we're making something for you, the last thing, it, it's not just about us making it, you paying for it, and then it's out of our hands. It's our brand on that product. Every yeah. tub of that, or every bag of that, yeah. is also a reflection on Catalyst and Cheetah It was like the exact thing that I hate with scissor lifts, like when you hit the top and it shucks, and then you just feel that sway. Nah, nah. I'll do that. We're going to try the first flavor samples of Podium. Let's get it. 
Mother oh, yeah, we go, brother. Let's taste them up. This is the Yeah, we'll call it. Uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta look at the notes. It's oh. it starts with visual. Oh yeah. Visual. For me that the the saltiness from an efficacy standpoint is there, but from the taste standpoint I'd like to dial it back a little bit, but not remove any of it. Sure. Just where you're not catching as much of the salt. Refreshing. I don't like as much as the watermelon. Yeah, watermelon's better. No. So this is round two of birthday cakes. So it's slightly different. These are the one that you guys really love. Round one. Yeah. So this has more inclusion and it's slightly more cream, like creamier. Thank you. I like the peanut butter. Like the peanut butter. I see you doing that peanut butter crunch. This is now look at this. Visual. See these? As Four. is. Texture. Like, like a gram, like a gram yeah. more of inclusions per serving, and then doing a chocolate peanut butter. Smells birthday cake. It just smells like fruit. As an addition to that later. Yeah, chocolate peanut butter is going to be your number two. I can't really yeah. smell it. So, like, maybe you're going to do that tomorrow. I don't know if we have time. The aroma not so good. The only, the only issue with peanut butter is you're going to chase the scoop size. I think I like round one more. I think there's a bit too much on the creamy side. This is maple pancake. Oh, Make sure you cleanse your palate. He is tearing the coat the maple flavor. Break down the 10 second colors of With the natural colors? It's not a test, no. So we gotta be able to careful. <laughs> well, you are good. It doesn't have much in I need to write your name on that. Dude, the SAT, I didn't know there was a math formula page. So I did the whole entire SAT without the math formula page. I also did yeah. that. Don't quote me. I think I scored perfect or like as, like as close to perfect as you can on the math. And then I got asked if I missed the reading section. <laughs> the guy's got like, did you like go up, to, like leave for the bathroom or something? And I was like, yes. oh no, I was there. I was trying real hard. <laughs> and, that, and that's when they were like, you should be an engineer. You should be an engineer. <laughs> Dude, that's exciting, man. Like, all of those could hit the shelf tomorrow and be awesome. Um, but I think there's a couple that we're still gonna like try to like dial in. Yeah. All right, we're all loaded up. Yeah. All right, we are going to Top Golf. Yes. With the whole crew. Dude, I can't wait to see Maddie Fraze's golfing skills. Dude, Dude he's I... good at everything. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Are we about to see? Dude, I don't know. See, here's the thing. I think you give this guy six months, he's on the Wait, tour. Wait, did they go left or right? As Sean Woodland this one said, what can't this guy do? There's no chance that I have any control over where any of these balls go. You think? Zero chance. No, but I don't love that there's cameras on me right now. Do, do I do this, Chris? Yes, yes. Stop. Is this the right club? I don't know. Doesn't need to look pretty. I'm pretty proud of those shots though. I feel good about those. Ooh. How many points I need? A lot. How many points I need? 38, 38 points. I've come back, I've come back from worse. Thirty-six yards. No big deal. And the guy was driving back and I was like aiming for the cart. Like, oh, I'll see if I can hit the cart. Perfect little teardrop. Came into the cart and blasted off of his shin. And he like stops the cart. He's like, mother! And I was just like trying so hard not to laugh. I'm going this way. And there's people on a green that's like right here. I hit, the second I look up, before I could even save for, it tags this old lady. And she like looking around and I'm like, oh shit, I think I just hit that lady. And she goes, four? Why didn't you say four? And I was like, I, I didn't even see, I didn't even know. I, sorry. Hey, let it lie. Yeah. Let it lie. Play where it lies. <laughs> For some reason I hit better because I'm not worried about like my form. I'm just like hitting naturally. Oh. Right when it's 
Stop. You don't need to put that one again. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Who told O'Keefe we were at Top Golf? <laughs> I'm getting guilty. <laughs> You're at Top Golf without me? Like, and then just wow. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. <laughs> I have a whole new appreciation for golf. <sighs> Dude, we had so many activities. I usually don't leave the house for like a week at a time. And then it was just so much socializing. I had fun. I loved all of it. But man, as an introvert, whew. <laughs> 9.20 already. Oh. Yeah, on to day two. Let's go. So this morning we're just meeting up with the team. We're gonna have breakfast and then we're heading over to the current manufacturing facility. I think it's where we did taste testing yesterday. So we're gonna get a tour of the current facility and then do round two of taste testing uh, more in depth with all of the products that are getting released and then I think we're gonna do different variations of the same flavor. So I think there's ones like birthday cake where we're gonna go and test different versions of the same product. So we can all pick our favorite uh, and then go from there. This isn't a pancake, this is a bagel show. Yeah. And the bagels are great. How you do anything, how you do everything. It's not true, because they do really, bagels really well. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't seem that they're doing pancakes really well. What if this is like the Funny best enough. pancake we've ever had? I and mean, we just didn't know about it somehow. <laughs> story. You have five. Five. And that's high. That's generous. It's, I'll say this, it's better than the crepes. You know what I mean? Yeah, better than the Danish. Danish pancakes? You need a bad right. American pancake. But Goldberg's Bagel Co. How are you rating the bagel? The bagel? Yeah. That's a, that's a nine. Yeah. Maybe an eight. I guess a really good bagel. Now it's kind of older and, and like colder. Not as good. But definitely the bagel. They went back for more. It's better in the second round. Let's go on a tour. Yeah, like yesterday, I felt like it was it was more just straight pineapple, and this has like a pina colada, yeah, like more coconutty. The dimensionality. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the dimensionality. Yeah. yeah. What type of Gatorade? Blue. Sure. That's not a flavor, sure. Ryan. Blue, blue. blue blast. Ooh, I love blue blast. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the flavor team that's working for you guys right now. You've got samples being made. You've got raw materials being tested. Um, you have a quality control team that's checking products that are running on the line right now. They do intervals um, every 10 minutes. They're checking the lines. They're checking on um, capsule weights every 20 minutes with the operators. So there's a lot happening in this small space. Document control is going on here. Um, so this this is a uh, this is a world class team. They're super efficient and really good at what they do. This team is uh, reviewing all um, testing requirements. They're doing analysis on ingredients as well as finished product. FDA says you can outsource um, a lot of the testing. We've decided to do a little bit of both. So we have in-house, um, but we also do some third-party outsourcing as well. So micro tests and heavy metals, things like that. Those are all things that we focus on to make sure that, you know, products are compliant before they're shipped out and get into the hands of the consumer. Now I know why every once in a while you get a protein spoon at the bottom. Yeah. The person at the assembly line like a bad day. <laughs> but good luck. I'll tell you. 
down here you got these IBCs, so these big vats are what we're blending in. I mean, just from an engineering standpoint, it's super cool to see all the processes that go into it. Just the different checks and balances that go into like, make sure a cap isn't cross-threaded or label isn't folded over, you know? It's, it's super cool to see all the machinery just working. I mean, even something as simple as like the new factory, where it's just, they, they have the vats on the outside, it falls down and then it pumps into the factory line. Whereas the new one, they built this whole uh, mezzanine over top of the factory so it just drops right down so it cuts out that one corner in the process you know so it's pretty cool that they're thinking that far ahead and planning on doing that much volume this is a shaker bottle of 800 kilos and it's right now we're working on a new program now to run it eight minutes, stop it, and then have it come back the other way. We've seen that the powder is a whole lot more homogenous um, yeah. and, and density-wise, um, more consistency, but yeah. So you've got lots of different uh, raw materials here, samples. Um, you, you know, she's pulling from whatever ingredients that she needs. Lots of different flavors coming from different flavor houses. Who wants a shot? Okay. Uh, I like that it's an official beaker. I've yep. got a yeah. solid, what, 40 milliliters? Yeah, yeah, yeah 40, it's a uh, 100 okay, milliliters. Cheers. Yep. Cheers. 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 Cheers, boys. Yeah, I'm working hard in the lab, guys. Hey, what's your feedback there, Buck? It's tart. Mm -hmm. I like it. Like it's like really nice and sweet, but still tart at the same time. Yeah. And it goes down smooth. Yeah. Mm. Sold. Sold. Yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> bottle it up. Ooh, Ooh. I like that. Oh, like that one. Yeah, it smells good. What do you want to call it? Aroma. Uh, the, this is one of my favorite flavors from the BCA, so I got high hopes. Mountain Dew. Oh. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one right that, there. That will be my Ooh, my yeah. go-to. Like after. Mm-hmm. Love it. Flavor system. Awesome. Thank you, Thanks, man. man. Hey, thanks for your help, man. All right, you bet. Take care. All right. All right, let's put in the address and then start racking up the miles. I mean, we got a lot done. We had some good times, but I'm excited to get it.